MJF and Will Ospreay. Probably match of the year. <laughs> I don't even think that's really a no-brainer. If you like that type of wrestling, I happen to like it. So you could easily say it's one of the matches of the year easily. You know, uh, but overall, other you know, all the good stuff about it, great match. But, man, that was just a bad idea. Why was this wasted on TV is beyond me. Why is the basically, the basic story of this is surrounded by Daniel fucking Garcia, bro. I got a hold of I got a whole video on Dave Garcia, so you know how I feel about him. If you already if you know anything about my channel already, it's not even the fact I really dislike him. I don't see what they see. He, it, they are really trying to convince people that he's on an MJF level, he's on a Will Osprey level, he's on a Swerve level. They try to convince us in 2022 that he was on Dance's level, bro. The Dave Garcia experiment is get has gotten old already to me. You turn MJF Hill against him, and they were cheering. Exactly my point. He was never that over enough for people to care enough, bro. This automatically overshadows Dave Garcia 100%. Because if the plan is, let's, let's think of a few scenarios. Maybe the plan is this. Maybe the plan is, all right, a triple threat for the international title at Wembley, which sounds way better than what I'm about to say because it's already been announced on television. MGF versus Danny Garcia. This completely takes away any momentum Danny Garcia has because nobody wants to see MJF versus Danny Garcia after this. We want to see Will Ospreay possibly get his title back and his win back. Or I would take a triple threat. But other than that, you want to sit here live and say you want to see Danny fucking Garcia at Wembley over Will Ospreay. So where does this leave Will Ospreay if it's not a triple threat? I'm hoping this is a triple threat. And you know who has to win? Daniel Garcia. That's the only way you're going to make it believable that you made a star out of this situation. Because let's say if it's MJF and Daniel Garcia, he has to be MJF. He has to. There's no other way around it. Or you completely bury the Daniel Garcia experiment, which I wouldn't be mad about. Not saying... He don't have no type of potential to get up, but it's they're going about it the wrong way. That's all I'm saying. They're going about it the wrong way. They're trying to make you and really convince us that he's this big star. I don't know what the fuck Tony Khan is smoking or sniffing or shooting up. I don't want none of that. I am cool. That makes no fucking sense, bro. Yes, you should push Daniel Garcia, but... If you and I didn't get it, MJF is a big star. That's why he won the international title. Well, Osprey is already a nice big star. That's why. Okay, so basically the credibility of the international title, you already had Orange Cassidy do his thing with that. So it made it even it amplified it even higher because MJF got it now. Will Osprey had it, and Will and, and MJF got it now. So it amplified it even higher. So. If the plan is Daniel Garcia winning at the end of all this, then cool. But I still highly, 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 highly disagree with this decision. You wasted that on TV, bro. Why we didn't get that at Wembley? Maybe it's a three-way, but they did announce it. They did announce it. MGF himself said, did you want a match? I made sure me and you had a match or some shit like that. He did say it. I mean, they can always scratch it. Yes, they can. It can always just turn to a three-way, which would save Dave Garcia. See, you may think I'm shitting on Dave Garcia. I'm actually telling you what could save him. 
Because, bro, this match takes away anything that Derry Garcia went through. Nobody gives any shit that Derry Garcia got hurt by, by MJF. Took it out by MJF. Fact, he had nothing to do with the match. Was he in the stands? I could have sworn I seen him in the stands or something. I think he was. But, but like, still, he had, like, they're not making him important as these two or as a Will Ospreay in this situation. And it's only, it's basically, okay, just got to watch to see what happens. But I at the end of the day, regardless of what the plan is, I think the overall plan should have definitely been Will Ospreay versus MJF at Wembley. I mean... I know you want to give Dave Garcia something. I know you want to push him. And like I said, yes, you should push him. But, bro, he's just not that guy, man. I just think he's the wrong guy you should be pushing. And here you got Jay Lethal sitting around doing nothing. And, and, this, and, and the list goes on of people that just sit around doing nothing, bro. Miro, where the hell is he at? Ricky Starks is just, you just let him expire like old milk. You let Warlow expire. I'm never going to get over this. Warlow beat the hottest guy in the company at one point in time. He's still the hottest guy in the company. So he beat the highest, hottest guy at all in, dominated him. The only person to ever do that to MJF. And Warlow's nowhere near even Wembley. What are we doing here? But Daniel Garcia has a guaranteed spot over Warlow. Over Ricky starts. <laughs> I just, I'm done. I am done. Like, share, subscribe, all that other good shit. Dislike. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Was it match of the year? Easily match of the week. I don't even think that's an argument. If you into that type of wrestling. You feel me? Wrestling. And, uh, you know, what, what, what do you think of this match? Five stars, 80 stars, whatever the case may be. It sucked to you. What do you guys think, man? I think the match was fantastic. It was just a waste of slot. It was wasted on free television. And I just don't think it was a good idea. And even if all this shit with Danny Garcia is down the line, I, I don't know, man. I would just have to see. So what do you guys think? We out.